Nadi International Airport IATA, NAN, ICAO, NFFN, is the main international airport for the Republic of Fiji as well as an important regional hub for the South Pacific Islands, located by the coast on the western side of the main island Viti Levu. It is the main hub of Fiji Airways and its domestic and regional subsidiary Fiji Link. The airport is located at Namaka 10 km from the city of Nadi and 20 km from the city of Latoka. In 2016, it handled 2,697,504 passengers on international and domestic flights. It handles about 97% of international visitors to Fiji, of which 85% are tourists. Despite being Fiji main airport, it is quite far away, about 192 kilometers, 119 miles northwest of the country's capital Suva and its airport, Nasori International Airport. Topic: History. The original airstrips at Nadi were built by New Zealand from August 1939, being completed in March 1940, and were paid for by the British colonial authorities. They were extended by New Zealand from November 1941. The first 7,000 feet (2,100 meters) runway was completed by January 1942, and the other two by April 1942. The work was requested by the United States of America for the South Pacific Air Ferry Route and paid for as reverse lend lease. In 1941 American engineer Leif J. Sverdrup discussed progress on the airfields with Walter Nash, then New Zealand Minister of Finance. Nash recalled Sverdrup saying that there was no formal agreement for payment for what was called Nandi Airport by America, so on the back of one of his cards Sverdrup drew a cross representing the airfield, wrote, £250,000 pounds and initialed it LJS the extension was actually estimated to cost 750,000 pounds pounds the airfield was used by the United States Army Air Forces when the Pacific War began in 1941 as USAAF Nandi sick early in the war B17 flying fortresses were flown from Nadi against Japanese targets in the Philippines and Solomon Islands in 1943, the 42D Bombardment Group flew B-25 Mitchells from Nadi. During this period, the U.S. Navy used the airfield as well, labeling it Naval Air Facility Nandi After the war ended, control of Nadi Airport was handed over to New Zealand on 20 December 1946, and the Civil Aviation Authority of New Zealand began operations from Nadi in 1947. At independence in 1970, the Fijian government began participating in the organization of Nadi Airport, and full control was handed over in 1979. The first tarmac runway was constructed in 1946 at a cost of £46,500, 7,000 feet meters by 150 feet 46 meters. Then, as now, Fiji was the crossroads of the Pacific, and in those days was even more important as a refueling stop. The apron was shaded by palms, crotons and hibiscus trees, with whitewashed stone paths connecting it to the terminal. These have now been lost under concrete as the apron has expanded over the years, as aeroplanes larger in both number and size land at Nadi. In the 1940s and 50s, the airport's official name was Colony of Fiji, Nadi Airport, although foreign timetables continued to spell the name in phonetic English, Nandi. Nadi was selected as the major airport for Fiji mainly due to its location on the drier west coast of Viti Levu. During the first half of the 1960s, Nadi served as a key airport for transfer of passengers from Auckland's Fanuapai Airport which could only take turboprop and piston aeroplanes, onto the new DC-8s and Boeing 707s bound for North America and Europe. At one time, New Zealand controlled the world's largest flight information service FIS, which at its largest stretched to 10,360,000 square kilometres. All of this was controlled from Nadi. Drama came to Nadi Airport on 19 May 1987. The first coup had just occurred 14 May 1987. Prime Minister Dr Timochi Bavadra and his cabinet were under arrest, and tension continued to rise in the country. Air New Zealand Flight 24 made a scheduled stop to refuel, en route from Tokyo Narita Airport to Auckland. Amjad Ali, an aircraft refueler, used his security card to board the aeroplane and, once in the cockpit, showed the captain that he was carrying dynamite. He wanted passage out of Fiji and the release of Dr. Bavadra. 
The passengers and cabin crew were able to disembark, while Air New Zealand negotiators in Auckland and Ali's relatives in the Nadi control tower attempted to defuse the escalating situation. Eventually, the flight engineer hit Ali over the head with a bottle of duty-free whiskey, and he was handed over to the Nadi police. Topic operations Arrivals and departures are much preferred to be to the south, due to the closeness of the Sabeto mountain range to the immediate north of the airport. A large turnaround area, suitable for Boeing 747s, is to the left of the threshold of runway 02, in case meteorological factors make departure to the north necessary. In 2008, a Qantas Airbus A380 had to make an emergency landing to disembark a sick passenger, showing that whilst not certified, the facilities at Nadi are sufficient to cater for the largest passenger aeroplane in the world. Today, the largest concentration of hotels in Fiji has grown up in and around Nadi. As tourism took off in the 1960s, the resorts under construction in the nearby Mamanuka Islands and Denarau Island cemented Nadi as the center of Fiji tourism industry. Nadi is the operational base for Fiji Airways, which services six airports throughout the Southwest Pacific, and many more on the Pacific Rim. The Civil Aviation Authority of Fiji head office is at Nadi Airport. Fiji Airways has its head office in the Fiji Airways Maintenance and Administration Center at the airport. In addition, Fiji Airlines Limited, operating as Fiji Link, is headquartered at the Pacific Sun office at the CAAFI compound. Topic: Airlines and destinations. Topic: See also. USAAF in the South Pacific.